Hello everybody, AstecGD here, and yes, uh, your eyes are not deceiving you, I am back, and I am going to continue the cruise ship building series that I started five years ago now, I think. Uh, I got many requests on the first video in that time period to continue on with the build, so I have a little bit of free time, so as I get around to it, I'll start posting more videos on how to finish the cruise ship that we started back in that video. Uh, so getting right into it, you can see uh, right here that I rebuilt. This is the original ship from that video. I rebuilt it over here up to the point where we were at. I did a little bit of extension to where we are going to pretty much be going with this today. And I rebuilt it with concrete instead of using stained clay and uh, quartz because these blocks look a lot nicer. And so if you guys started building past then and you have these blocks, highly recommend use those rather than the older blocks that I use in there. Uh, well, getting into it, uh, what we did last time was we made the bow of the ship, and now we're going to build up this area a little bit as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to make these upper decks and kind of build to where the top of the ship is going to be, which is right up here. So the ship that I'm building right now, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine decks tall. And that is what we are going to be replicating over here. And this is the ship that I'm going to be continuing the tutorial with as we go on. So what we're going to want to do first to start building up is we are going to want to add spaces for entry into the ship uh, from the bow. So I'm going to take and I'm going to place these doors here. So on this block, I'm going to break those two blocks, place some doors. I'm going to do the same over here. Let's do it like this over here, leaving one block in the center. And then on this side also, and I'm going to place this one even with this block here so that these doors on the other side are pointing outwards. Now we could also do whatever you guys really want to do with those doors. We could put them on the other side or on the interior of those blocks as well. But I think I'm going to stick with this right here because I like how that looks. Uh, we can also take, and I like the color of blackstone pressure plates. So I'm going to take and use some blackstone pressure plates in front of these doors and behind these doors and so this is going to allow people to actually access the ship later on might as well just do it you guys can pretty much put your doors where you want them to be this is what i'm going to do for this tutorial now what we're going to do is we are going to build up so i'm going to take this here on this block right behind those doors and i'm going to build up one on all of these blocks so here we go cool and so our little rule here is going to be up two and then back three and so that's kind of going to be how that's working so the tops of these are going to be all back this way so i'm going to build one up here so on here instead of going two up it's going to be three up like that and i'm going to start building one out like this and what we're going to do is we're going to make sort of an awning for these areas over here oops and we are going to continue that oops there we go like that so now we have our little awning just like on that ship over there and now what we're going to do is we're going to build back up on that awning so i'm going to take here i'm going to do that and now i'm going to build back one block here and now, let's continue that over here. And one back here. And then now, I'm going to do it one more time up like this. So back one, like this. Oops, there we go. Try 
I do here? Oh, that's why. That explains it. And so now we have our up two blocks. So one, two, and then we're going back on these three blocks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back another three blocks with wood planks. So I'm going to make our floor, and that's going to be right under these blocks here. So just fill in here. You could also fill in everything else if you want. That's kind of up to your discretion how you actually decorate these areas. But I'm going to take and just for the time being, go like this. Just keep this going. Just fill it in just a little bit. And I'm going to go... Fill this in like that. And I have kind of this little deck area filled in. Now if you look back here, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to build three blocks back from either side of this. So I'm going to take three blocks back from either side and you can fill in across there, make your deck, everything like that. But I'm going to go one, two, three, and just fill this space in. And now I'm going to start here and where I've got those three blocks, I'm going to add one more row. Just back here. And I'm doing this out the way I'm doing it just because as you go along, you could also start filling in this facade here like I have on that ship. But I'm going to build up for the time being for this tutorial. And now I am going to take here and I'm going to replicate this exact same design all the way across the bottom here. So I'm going to leave that block there because it's going to be, like I said before, two up. And I'm going to take and extend these sides back. And I am going to, as you can see here, do a similar thing that I did over there. So you see one, two, three on this side, and then I'm going to build up two, but start going out like that. So here we go, one, two, three on this side. I'm gonna build out the two blocks like this, up on these sides. And then now, I'm gonna build that one up one, like I did on the bottom, and start going back. And so, I'm going to pretty much just repeat what I did on that side. And for any decks that you want to have up like this, in this kind of capacity, I recommend you remake this that many times. So if you want a deck like with this sort of facade here, like these two decks here where you're just coming out, there's a nice little balcony over here, then just make one of these. You can make more decks, you can make less decks, it's your discretion. But I'm going to make two for this ship, so let me pause and I will get back to you when I get to that point. Okay, so as you can see here, I did that again twice. So now, here I've got my first deck, here I've got my second deck up above the bow floor. So what I'm doing now is we are going to be building a interior section. So I started by doing the same three up, the two up and the three back like I did before over here. Uh, I added windows to this one. 
uh, just because, you know, try to make it a little different than the other ones. Uh, but you can see here, I wanted to match this design here. So I took and made a stripe of the bottom color of the ship on this third layer. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make another two layers up. Uh, but these two layers, I'm going to have glass on as well. So I'm going to do uh, back with uh, some white concrete and I'm going to leave spaces and just on the exterior sides of these I'm going to leave the concrete and then every other one I am going to break the concrete and we're going to put glass in that later on. So you can see here, leaving that, leaving that, leaving that, oops, and leaving that right there. And we're going to build this one back too. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to add my glass here, 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 all the way around in these gaps. And now, uh, you can see that I actually took a cut uh, for a second and just built back this ship. You don't have to worry about doing this yet, uh, but uh, I actually, when I recorded the first time, made a mistake with my block placement uh, throughout the rest of the recording. Didn't notice until the end, so forgive me uh, that I built this out, but I wanted to go back to where I was. I built the whole thing, and then I realized I placed a few blocks wrong on this next step, uh, and it messed up the rest of it, and so I wanted to re-record it. Uh, but keep like this in, uh, but I'll show you how to do that later on. But what we're going to do now is we are going to build this up one more back. So we're going to make our fifth back layer. Pretty much what that is, is we are going to just build up and back one more. I will say that building up this part and building the bow, these first two videos are probably the most difficult parts about building and planning a cruise ship build just because of how uh, just because of how uh, easy it is to make a mistake because this is exactly what I did last time so I accidentally put this here when in reality it should be going up like that so got to make sure we're filling everything in right but pretty much we're just going up and back with that layer, just the glass and the quartz. So making sure that all the block placement is correct. There we go. So some people as they go along back might be building this up. It's fine. This stuff's not going to change. As you can see, it's very blank and bland on here right now. And we're going to do that facade later on. Um, but this is our fifth layer up from here. So one, two, three, four, five. Now what we're going to do is we're going to begin building our um, bridge for our ship. So what we're going to do is we're going to build back one more and then we're going to do a little fancy stuff on the side to make the protrusions for the bridge. So you can see here I'm going to take on the side and when I build up I'm also going to build back two on either side. So I'm going to go like this. Oops. Back two. Like that. And I'm also going to add another one here. So you're going to see one, two, three, four, and then our one, two here. And now I'm just going to do what we've been doing. Just build up and back. Making sure not to misplace blocks where they shouldn't be. like that. And like I said before, one, two, like that. So this is going to be our base for our bridge. Now what we are going to do is we're going to build up on top of that, but instead 
we are going to, instead of going back on the protrusion, we're going to stay the same. So we're going to build one layer on top, but stay at the same uh, kind of elevation as we are for this block when we build the protrusion, or this block rather. So we're going to go like that and build our way around here. And so that gives some dimension to the ship. But then we're just going to continue building up like this. Just all the way around, fill in these blocks. And then like this. Like that. And we can add this block here too because there's no harm, no foul with that. Uh, now what we are going to do is we're going to put our glass in. So as you can see here, the glass is one of the things we're going to want to meld the ship together with. So we're going to go back, but on this last protrusion, we're going to carry that glass out to the side. So this is to give dimension to the ship and also make just uh, make it look better uh, from the exterior. It can make it a little more difficult on the interior with seeing outside, but uh, it looks really good from the outside of the ship. Uh, and in Minecraft, uh, that's more of what matters, because unless you can design some crazy redstone contraption to make this thing move, uh, it's probably not going anywhere. So it doesn't really matter probably that much from the being in the bridge what you can see. Uh, but you see, if I keep misplacing blocks like that, you can see that I'm going to build up to, and over here, I'm going to break these and carry this out like that. Or excuse me, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did that wrong. We're gonna carry it in, not out. So we're carrying it in like this. So, excuse that mistake, but we're carrying it in on the sides like this, and we're just gonna keep and build up on this to give that the dimension that we wanna give it. Beautiful, so let's keep doing that on the sides. And I keep going back to the other ship for reference, just because I kind of want to stick to that. I'm using that ship to kind of give myself a thought process on where I want to go with this. Uh, so that's like my test ship, so that I can test out ideas before I present it to you guys, so that you guys uh, get kind of like the best design possible for this ship. Uh, like the best, easiest, also kind of like design as well. Because I know a lot of the comments on there was talking about how I... I'm able to go slow with this. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I think that tutorials should be slow so that people can actually learn how to build a thing. So that's what I want to do. Uh, so here we go with that. Um, so now that this is built, now comes the difficult part, and that's melding it with the rest of the ship. Because obviously you have these protrusions coming out, it's not going to be very easy to put back together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build this next layer, which is just kind of going to sit on top, but like we did with this, we are going to meld with the top of the ship again. So we're gonna take this and bring it in one more of these like two block lengths so that the ship kinda has some geometry to it. So I'm gonna start in the middle here, keep going back with this one. But now on this block, I am going to go all the way down like this. And do the same on this side. So we are going to build back oops did it again build back all the way and we are going to fill that in. There we go. Look at that. And so now we got this started so that we can build our bow back. Uh, not bow, sorry. Why do I keep using bad ship terms? There's a reason I'm not in the Navy. Okay. So now what we are going to do is we are going to build back one once more, but we have to, again, melt this ship together. So we're going to build back one and carry that protrusion the same way I did with this. So I'm going to build back one now like I said 
we are going to be carrying this. I'm going to fill this in also on top, just a tad. Um, and we're going to carry that protrusion the same length that we carried our other one below it. And so I'm going to do the same on this side. And let's carry that. So now what you're going to notice is while I'm trying to melt this ship together, uh, now we're going to go back in one. So instead of carrying these, we're going to go back to what we did with the glass and we're going to carry it only one on this level. And then we're going to keep building back like I had before, right? So let's do starting from the middle. Let's add these blocks on either side. So now you see that it's carrying that first protrusion or that first uh, two block interval. And now we're just going to build back again like we did so many times before in this tutorial. Oops. There we go. So here we go with that. So now we're going to start building back up again. So now we're back to normal. We're just going back and we're just going to continue up the side just like we did before. And now we're going to go up, since we have this one in, we're going to go up one, two, three more blocks. So we're going to do just a few more of these all the way to the side of the ship now. So there's no reason to meld anymore. It's going to naturally meld back. So one, two, and then our one right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build this around. And we're going to do the melding from this kind of perspective instead. So see how we're doing that? And then shoot, just right down there. So the same on this side. Just make everything blend together so that it looks nice. And then one more back. And then that singular block. And like I did before, we're building up. And then, there we go. One back over there. So now you can see that this glass is going to be covered up when we build back this facade here, but. Uh, that really doesn't matter. You guys can do your interior decorating as you want. I'll do some interior decoration tutorials later on, but as of now, eh, uh, we'll see. So if that's what you guys want, we're going to do that. So we build up this first one. Now we're going to do one, two more of these. And then we're going to build our overlap thing over there. So we've got here. We're going to do the exact same thing, just building up, one more. And now what we're going to do is you see how I kind of have this on the side. So we built up from this area. We went one back, then one, two, three. And now we're going to kind of build this top layer. So this is our deck level. So now what I'm actually going to do is we're going to take this last block out on either side. And we're going to make it 
kind of go like this. Because this is going to be the top brim of our ship. So it's going to kind of go and mold upwards. And it's going to, I'll show you as we build up the ship later on in this series. But this is going to be our top deck right here at this level. So this layer right here is going to be overlapping that. And so you guys, as we go, can build these decks up. Each deck has four floors. So you've got one, two, three, four layers on here. Oops. Sorry. I think I, let's see. So one, two, two, three, and then four. So it's going to be right here. And then again, one, two, three, four, right here. And then our last layer is one, two, three, four, right here. So if you guys want to build these decks up, uh, you can take a look kind of at this visual and pause the screen. And you can see like what layers each of those things are going to be on right here. Sweet. And so now what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at this ship just so you guys can see that better. So you see I built that up with the bridge and everything here. And all you got to do is fill in the facade. So give me a second and I am going to do that and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so now you can see uh, if we take a look at the ship, this front portion right here that we were working on today is pretty much all set. So this is what it's going to look like. We've got our two decks that have balconies. We've got our interior deck. Uh, we've got our bridge deck. We've got one more interior deck with no glass. And then we have got our top deck right here. I filled in the facades, uh, extruding those stripes out where they need to be. It wasn't. Uh, it's not that hard of work. If you guys need a, a kind of uh, assistance of where to stop with that, remember that we made that kind of three block here by taking that block on the side out. Uh, and just extend this up so this is going to extrude back just a little more. Uh, in the next video, what I would like to do is I'm going to extend this ship back more. So we're going to extend out to the length that the ship is going to be, uh, which is going to be pretty long since this is a 21 block wide ship. Uh, so bear with me, it's going to be hard, especially if you're on survival with this, but you can always size down these ships. The good thing about this kind of model is that as long as you have an odd number between it, uh, you can kind of size your ships down to however uh, size you want to be. I have this ship over here that I've been working on for a server that I'm on. Uh, and here, like this ship, I think is like 15 blocks. It's kind of a weird one. Uh, I kind of made like a river river boat with this ship. Uh, but it's the same model. You can just extrude it out back with this. Uh, make the decks that you want to make over here inside the ship. I can give kind of a tour of this ship when I'm done with it, if that's something you guys want to see. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much a very sizable, uh, resizable design, rather. So uh, you guys should be able to meld that to your preference. And I'll work with people who are making smaller sized ships uh, more in that next video to help determine how long your ship should be based on the width of it. Uh, because that is the determining factor for it to look good. The width and the height of the ship kind of determines how long that ship needs to be. Because you can even see with this ship that I'm working on over here, uh, it's a little. it looks a little bit stubby kind of. Uh, but again, I also have a hole on that ship, which I didn't build on this ship. So it's a lot taller than it would be if it was in the water. Uh, but overall, so this is where we are leaving off for this video. Uh, if you guys have any requests for things I should go over, uh, or comments on the build or things you would like me to add in the build uh, or in the tutorial uh, to make this ship better. Uh, for example, I can do a whole tutorial if that's something you guys would want to see. Uh, let me know and I'd be willing to work on that with you guys. Uh, the next video isn't going to be out in five years. Hopefully it'll be done uh, a while before then depending on how much uh, I, uh, response I get to this video and people who want me to make a next part. Uh, but I promise this time I will uh, not get distracted and will uh, continue this build. Uh, I'd like to make this a ship that's pretty easy for everybody to make. Uh, 
this was probably the hardest part until we get to the back of the ship. That's the second hardest part. And then interior design, I'll do some uh, tips and tricks on interior design. Uh, things that you can do. I'll even go step by step making this interior with you guys with cuts. Show you guys the best ways in creative to kind of copy and paste room designs. Or in survival, uh, the best methods to actually make these rooms and different shopettes and things inside the ship as we get to that point. But next tutorial is going to be extruding the ship out. Uh, and working on our side facade, adding balconies, windows, things like that to make the ship look pretty from the outside. But yeah, uh, please subscribe if you like the tutorial, uh, like the video, uh, and leave me comments of things that you guys would like to see in this series. I'm glad to be back, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So thank you guys very much. Goodbye.